Welcome back, beautiful tri-state area. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Zen Sams. Up next in our Trailblazers segment brought to you by FinTech TV, we're featuring Marco Antonio Soriano IV, scion of an illustrious lineage, leads the Soriano Group, a powerhouse family office with $2.8 billion in revenue. Spearheading Soriano Motori Corp., he revitalizes the iconic motorcycle brand with premium electric models. Beyond business, Marco seamlessly melds art and innovation, epitomizing his mantra, art in motion. Formerly of Goldman Sachs and the World Bank, his journey embodies heritage, innovation, and artistic vision set to be chronicled in his upcoming book. Today, he joins me at iHeart headquarters right here in Midtown Manhattan to chat all about the Soriano legacy, how he plans on conquering the U.S. markets with his motorcycles and fashion line, and why he believes the metaverse is going to be a major disruptor for brands. Joining me now on my Expert on the Microphone series is my good friend, Marco Soriano. Welcome, superstar. Woo! Awesome to be here, iHeart. Thank you so much for having me. And so excited. So finally, we're doing this. Let's kick this off. <laughs> now we've been waiting a long time, right? Yeah, let's dive right in. Okay, so what do we got? Heritage meet innovation in a tapestry of success and vision. Marco, your journey truly captivates seamlessly intertwining tradition with very forward thinking entrepreneurship, and your family legacy is deeply rooted in tradition and success. So, how do you balance? preserving this heritage, but also driving innovation and modernization within the Soriano group. Uh, great. So tradition is always a great thing to have, and that's part of the heritage of the family. But at the same time, if we do not keep up with technologies of what's going on in the world, many companies get left behind, right? It is said, and we already know by statistics, that 80% of the companies in the S&P 500 in the next 10 years will be dropped out because they're not adapting enough, quick enough to technology. So there's certainly something that I'm not going to let happen to my family's legacy. Well, you said it, and it's that adept transition from the realms of finance to the helm of Soriano Motori Corp. It really exemplifies a modern narrative of what we call this adaptive leadership. And in an industry evolving towards sustainability, your specific embrace of electronic models not only echoes environmental responsibility, but also it resonates truly with market trends because that's what it's all about, sustainability. And statistics reveal a very robust growth trajectory with electric motorcycle sales surging globally by 50% this year alone, which is a testament to the viability of your strategic pivot. Now, your journey from finance at Goldman Sachs to leading Soriano Motori Corp is quite remarkable. I think it's Truly interesting. Can you share what inspired your transition and how your background influences your current approach to business? Sure. Finance and investment banking, what we learn typically, especially coming from like the old school of Goldman Sachs, is how to analyze opportunities, how to find and disrupt status quo companies, right? So I bring all of this value and all of this knowledge into a company that for a very long time maintained its traditional values traditional forms of investment. So I disrupted my own family's strategies by bringing onto the board, onto the table, alternative investments into the EVs, AI, you mentioned it earlier, even the metaverse, crypto, NFTs, the whole bit, right? So it's just how do you put it all together? How do you stitch them all up together and make a company that makes sense to people? That's what I'm doing. You're quite an artist. In fact, if you look at it from that perspective, the integration of artistry into these endeavors, it really elevates Soriano products beyond just this, this mere commodities, right? Transforming them into objet d'art, what we call in French, in motion, as you so eloquently described, the fusion of form and function. It really underscores your commitment to not just meeting, but exceeding consumer expectations, and that's what it's all about. Now, surveys indicate that 67% of consumers are willing to pay a premium for products that blend aesthetic appeal with practical utility, which is a testament to the resonance of your ethos, because if you, you read all of these blogs, that's what it's about. Now, revitalizing uh, an iconic motorcycle brand with premium electric models is a very bold move. <laughs> <laughs> what were the biggest challenges you faced in this transformation and how did you overcome them? Sure. Great. Amazing question, actually. 
the the riders today, the drivers today are always asking you the same questions. And you know this as a consumer yourself, right? How long can I go before I need to recharge this battery or this vehicle again? How fast can it go? Is it reliable? Is the design good enough for you? Is the color that you're buying the color that you wanted? Does it have sound? Is it safe? So I took all of these problems and I put them together on the table with a bunch of engineers that have worked for the remarkable brands of the world. And I told them I need to have a bike that has all the solutions to all of these problems, but we're going to make it in Italy. And that's where the quality control and the quality and design comes up even better because whatever you're seeing today that we're being flooded with is cheap, low quality product. And I want to get rid of it. It's junk as they put it. Yeah. Now, conquering the U.S. markets, which are renowned for their dynamism and, and really discerning consumer base, this presents both a challenge and an opportunity. But with your proven track record and a comprehensive market entry strategy, which you have, success seems inevitable. And research forecasts a very ro robust outlook for, like I said, the electric vehicle market in the U.S. And this growth is going to keep going of about 30% between this year and 2030. So this is, again, very fertile ground awaiting Soriano Motori Corp. Now, beyond motorcycles, um, you've also ventured into the fashion industry under yes. the Soriano brand I'm wearing it there you go <laughs> what unique elements do you bring from your motorcycle designs to your fashion line well listen you said it yourself again you know the interpretation of art fashion meets engineering has, has always had a big gap but you know that if you're going to be driving a ferrari you're not going to be driving in your pajamas right you're going to be having a nice outfit on and you're going to make yourself look good and you're going to go out there and make it the best event ever right as opposed to if you were driving a Tesla or driving a Nissan, you're not going to care. Uh -oh. That's uh -oh. the difference. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Nothing against Nissan or Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's what it is. It's the perception of how what makes you feel good. And a Made in Italy product, that the one that we're making, needs fashion. So the fashion goes along the lines of sustainability as well because we're using recyclable material. We're working with leather goods. Who doesn't like leather this good these days, right? And we're creating, recreating classic looks in collaboration with artists all around the world. So the art of this artist is painted onto the leather in our jackets. And that's what makes the difference. Woo! You're on one rapid journey. I love it. Living life in the fast lane with Soriano. Now, let's, <laughs> let's shift a little bit. So this anticipation, your anticipation of the metaverse as a disruptor for brands is astute and this reflects a keen awareness of emerging digital landscape which i'm so so uh thrilled that as an entrepreneur you're aware of because many don't even know what the metaverse means now with projections indicating that the global metaverse market is going to exceed 800 billion mm -hmm. by the year 2028 your foresight in leveraging this paradigm shift really does underscore your commitment to staying at the forefront of innovation. And that's what we're talking about, the forefront of innovation. So the concept of the metaverse as a disruptor for brands is gaining significant attention. You're not the only one uh, with this on your radar. So how do you envision leveraging this digital landscape to enhance the Soriano brand experience? Yeah, so in, in a book that I published about last year called Entrepreneurial Madness, basically I introduced one paradigm out of 10. And one of them was... How did you disrupt the market with an element that connects Web3 in blockchain, the metaverse, and you gamify your business? The gamification of your business is essential because the consumers of tomorrow or even today are consuming through video gaming. This is a great example from Fortnite, which is in the trillions of dollars, right? So I'm taking all of my motorcycles, cars, any prototype face vehicle that I'm intending to put in the market, and I'm putting it out there as the form of a game. So I get the feedback from the consumer and then I know what I need to produce. I know where I need to spend the money to manufacture such goods. The same thing with the fashion. You can, I can dress up my avatars in the fashion. I can have fashion live shows worldwide. You know, what this, the problem with having an event in a physical space is that you're limited to that physical space. In the metaverse, you have no limitations. You can create and recreate and keep going. It also f uh, works as a functional uh, instrument to the salespeople, right? The distributors and their dealerships that they want to show you in real time what your motorcycle could potentially look like or your car. This is the instrument. 
So you get to see and you get to buy what you want, not what I'm giving you. You're a visionary and it's all about Web 3.0 and where we're headed. And you are 100 percent right. The metaverse is really where the younger audience and the generation is. And that breeds community and community breeds loyalty and loyalty. Well, that feeds the bank account. So <laughs> you are right on the money. Now, your dedication to sustainability is extremely um evident here this echoes the growing consumer sentiment that you are aware of yes. towards these eco-conscious practices let's say and if you research even further 88 percent of consumers want brands to help them be more environmentally friendly so this highlights again another importance of soriano's sustainability initiatives i wanted to point that out so let's go back sustainability increasingly important how does soriano motori corp incorporate sustainability into its business practices first of all uh, knowledge of that it's really happening climate change is something that is really happening regardless of what you think back at home in your car while you're driving the the issues here and it's the amount of people that we are in the world you know you're looking at over 8 billion people and we're going to add another billion people in the next 10 years it only took 100 years the last time that we added another billion. So clearly the growth of the population in the world is exponential. So how do we resolve the problems of sustainability with potable water, irrigation systems, energy, air quality? This is what we're looking at. So whenever we are, we're sitting down and brainstorming about what is our next product, our next engineering design phase, we're looking at solutions to these problems. Now, I'm not saying... I'm going to resolve all these problems for the whole world because we're a small company right now, even though we're growing. But perhaps we can influence other companies to do the right thing. And the right thing is to be conscious about this and make take actions to make this new world a better world. Well said. I love it that you are conscious of the environment and the issues that we're having, and especially the generation today. Uh, they really... Um, are akin to wanting to align themselves with the same vision you have. And it's interesting that you switch to electric vehicles, that your brand is sustainable, that you're looking at the metaverse. These are all pointers in the right direction that you are not only aware, but you have a knowledge of how these three uh, factors within an, uh, an enterprise really make the difference in speaking to your brand identity. But looking ahead, as your group continues to chart these new territories, the promise of a future where tradition and innovation really converge holds immense allure. And it's a very sexy concept that you have. And this unwavering commitment to excellence that you have also ensures that the Soriano legacy is going to continue to inspire many generations to come, right? And it's a beacon of ingenuity in a very rapidly evolving world is what I say. But your mantra... Art in motion. This suggests a deep connection between creativity and functionality. So how do you incorporate artistic vision into the design and development process of your products? So, so this goes back to a little bit of history. And, and, you know, for example, my family were best friends with Salvador Dali, right? And everybody knows his name. Today, I'm, I'm happy to say that I'm friends with all these different artists that are interpreting life in, in their own ways, through their own lenses. So I'm helping them connect the bridges with our vehicles, with our fashion, with what I'm calling the Soriano world. Soriano world will be a worldly exhibition where we can see all of these elements cross-pollinizing with each other and where clients could come and, and, and people just enjoy and teach their kids the value of maintaining our ecosystem clean, but at the same time being creative. This is what the Soriano world is going to promise. This is what we're working on. And hopefully this year we're going to be presenting it in Europe first. Then I want to bring it to the U.S. So conquering the U.S., that's going to be a daunting task, especially in industries as competitive as motorcycles and fashion. So what strategies do you have in place to, to penetrate and succeed in this market? So we've, we're working on creating a module that is transferable. Basically, we go to one place, 10 days, we'll break it down, we'll bring it to another place. Just imagine an artist that goes on the road for a concert, right? And then after that, he moves on to another city and brings the same scenography and shows the world that, you know, what he's doing, what he's singing, what he's all about. I'm looking at myself as an artist. And all of these different creations are part of this world. So I want to bring it to all these different places where people can engage, interface with each other, integrate with us, and be a part of the Soriano world. Beautiful. 
Now, last question. We have one minute left. Your upcoming book, it promises to chronicle your journey encompassing your heritage and your innovation and your artistic vid- vision. So what key lessons do you hope readers will take away? I go back in time and look at myself in the mirror as a child, how I made myself to become the man who I am right now. Who I'm almost in my 50s, right? My four children really are my inspiration to everything that I'm creating because part of the legacy is what you leave behind. It's not so much the money that, we're, that you can make, that one can make, but what you really truly leave behind. The moral values, the right guidance, and a way to become creative and think outside the box. That's the whole point here. And that's what I'm working on very hard so that they have that. Well, you're right there, my friend. I <laughs> see I see that you have gone where there is no path and you have left a great big trail. You built your own door. Not only did you knock on it and unlock it, but you can you continued building more doors for yourself and stepped right into the space that you are right now, which is exactly where you are supposed to be. Thank you so much for coming on. It was such a pleasure chatting with you today. And the honor and the pleasure is always mine. Thank you to you. That was our Trailblazer segment <laughs> brought to you by Fintech TV. And that was the impressive Marco Soriano the fourth. Do check them out at SorianoMotori.com or SorianoFashion.com. And you can also head to Metaverse.SorianoGroup.com. You're listening to a moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. We'll be right back after this. A Moment of Zen is sponsored by Fintech TV. Fintech TV, the newest streaming channel focused exclusively on the business of blockchain, digital assets, and sustainability. Broadcasting from our studio on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with daily reports from NASDAQ, global expansion, and 24-7 coverage. Become part of the launch. Head to fintech.tv slash invest. Fintech.tv slash invest. Tune in to A Moment of Zen, Saturday nights from 9 to 10 p.m. on 710 WOR, the voice of New York.